There are new allegations about a valley crematory disrespecting bodies and violating procedures. And it happened at the same location we reported on five years ago. It started with a tip. Imagine the worst smell you could ever smell and multiply that by 100. Decomposing bodies were being stored outside a Mesa crematory for days. Something's been rotting in that van. Back in 2011, we investigated and watched this van full of boxes all night. 19 hours later, owner Frank Lambert pulled the boxes out, admitting they were full of bodies. Those are bodies stored in your van overnight. Is that the way you should be doing it? No. Why did you do it? I don't have room. Lambert lost his crematory license. Now, the crematory has a new owner, a new name, and is back before the state funeral board over similar allegations. And witnessed three gurneys with human remains out of refrigeration. Two of these gurneys were double stacked with human remains. The board heard staff and funeral home yes. owner accounts of alleged yes. violations at Saguaro Valley Cremation Services. Bodies stacked right on top of each other. There's a possibility of leakage that could occur from that body. But owner Jonathan Woods says we're only hearing one side of the story. There's total misrepresentations there. Okay, so the bodies weren't being stacked properly? No. The funeral board says Lambert, who used to own the crematory, now acts as manager there. In May, the board will decide what to do next. If you need my help, here's how to get hold of me. And on Twitter, we're at Let Joe Know, asking, when did you overpay for something? It's hashtag pay too much. Let me know. And if I hear some good stories, I'm going to air them soon. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.